Hello everyone. Uh, today I am going to discuss the wheel lookup function in Excel. This is very simple if you understand its basic meaning. Why do we use it? So I have just created this data. Uh, we have names in column A and the zip codes here in column B and the city which we will put by using the wheel lookup function here. So I have this data and with each zip code I have the city names here. So we have in total nine cities and their zip codes but the number of candidates that we have are 20. So they, they all belong to these one of these cities. So I want to put the city names here and instead of writing them individually by you know like one by one I want a function a formula to do this automatically by itself so for that purpose we will use VLOOKUP function the formula starts with we lookup open the bracket it's asking you for the value to look for so you click here comma and now it's asking for the ta table array where the table is so you just select the table not the labels only the table and remember that for this table you need to put the dollar signs to fix this table for all the values you you come here this cursor you place the cursor here and press F4 to make this fixed and here do the same press F4 or you can manually put the dollar signs here so right comma and now it's asking for the column number from which the value will be returned so in this table the column number is 2. So I write 2 here. So the city names are in column 2 of this table. So I write 2 here. Comma. And now it's asking for either write true or false. If you write true here, it will just look for the approximate values. But if you write false or 0, it will return only the exact values. So we will write here false or you can write 0 as well or for true you can write 1. Now bracket close and press enter. So as you can see it's 2125 zip code belongs to Karachi. So here is Karachi. Now you can double click this here or you can drag this formula till the end and see the magic. You don't need to write that individually. You have all the city names just by using the vehicle function. Thank you.